Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm installing the timing cover on a Mercruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder engine. And uh, in the process of uh, installing this timing cover, I'm going to do a tool review. Um, in the last video, or in my last series on uh, rebuilding a Mercruiser 3.0 engine, I believe I left the timing cover bolts loose until I had the uh, front harmonic balancer uh, pressed on and installed on the crank before I tighten up the bolts because the point I was trying to do or, or what I was trying to do is get the timing cover centered. Um, here's the timing cover here. And I was trying to get the seal concentric with the the front pulley or the front harmonic balancer before I tighten up the front cover. Um, most of your, let me back up, most of your timing covers, <clears throat> especially on the small block V8s, have locating dowels. Or they'll, they'll either have holes in the block or they have dowels in the block that accurately locate the timing cover, so you really can't mess it up. You can't install it in the wrong place. But this timing cover doesn't have any dowels, so it can shift uh, within, a, you know, probably 16th, maybe 32nd inch, depending on where these holes fall. The timing cover can shift, and your seal may not be concentric with the, uh, the uh, surface that it rides on. And uh, so what I try to do is get the uh, seal concentric with the crankshaft before I tighten up these bolts so that the cover is in the right, uh, basically the seal is centered on, centered on the crank. So to do that, <clears throat> um, in the like I said, in the previous series on 3.0, I installed the front uh, harmonic balancer, which was a major pain to do, uh, or a major pain to install that device. And then it was kind of hard to get to those bolts. It was, they were kind of awkward places and I had to use like open end box end wrench, um, excuse me, open end wrench to get to them. It's very slow to tighten the bolt. So what I found is um, this is a product, I think it's the company's called Proform. And what this is intended to do, it's got a slot for the key. It's intended to be a device where you can take a small block and rotate the crank with a or half inch drive, a half inch drive torque wrench or a half inch drive ratchet. That That's the half inch uh, socket right there. It's like a half inch socket. But instead of having a, a six point uh, nut hexagon shape inside, it's around with a key. So it fits on the front of the crank and it allows you to turn it. That's for the, this was designed for small blocks. However, I bought this on a hunch thinking it might fit the Mercruiser 3.0. And I was right, it does fit this, uh, it does fit the 3.0 crankshaft. So, um, so I've been using it to rotate this engine as I built this engine. However, an added bonus is the fact that this, the outer diameter of this tool just so happens to fit the seal on this cover. So now instead of having to install the harmonic balancer to get this cover centered on the crankshaft, I'm using this tool. Now, the reason I have this blue tape on here, I've got one layer of tape wrapped around the crank, is when this fits on there, it's just a tad loose, so it kind of shakes a little bit. In other words, it's not a snug fit. I mean, it's, it fits, but it's a loose fit. So I put the tape on there so that when this tape is on there, it's a very snug fit, and it's concentric. It's a concentric snug fit on the crankshaft now. So now when I put this timer cover on, my timer cover will be concentric with the crankshaft. I can tighten everything down without having to worry about the getting to the bolts. I'll have full access to all my bolts and this will make it a lot easier to uh, install the timer cover. So that's what I'm about to do now. Um, I'm going to install the, first I'm going to put uh, silicone sealant, gray, ultra gray silicone sealant around the engine. Then I'm going to put the gasket on. This is the gasket here. Then once the gasket's on, I'll smear silicone or seal it on the gasket itself. And then I'll put the timer cover on and I'll use this device to center it up, put the bolts in and be done. So I think I've probably saved myself a good 30 minutes on the installation of this timing cover. So um, in the next segment, you'll see the timing cover on and this, uh, the, the, this tool right here will be in the center of the timing cover. The front timing cover is now installed and all the bolts, these, uh, these are three eighths head bolts are all tightened down to um, 35, inch, 35 inch pounds with my uh, small inch pounds torque wrench. So the front cover is installed and this, like I was saying before, this tool helped to make that cover concentric and I was able to locate it on the block, concentric with the crankshaft and I left it installed when I tightened the bolts and now I can pull it off. So I'm gonna pull that out. The tool is out. By the way, I don't know what the part number is. I'll put it in the comments or excuse me, I'll put it in the description. I know it's made by Proform, but I'll have to get the part number and post it in the uh, description. So um, 
this timing cover is now installed. Now I'm going to get this tape off and the timing cover will be done. And uh, I'm now ready to install the oil pan on the bottom of the engine. So thanks for watching. If you found this video beneficial or helpful, please subscribe to my channel.